You'll enjoy your reverie harp much more if you can keep it in tune. And really, it's not that difficult. Anybody can learn to tune the reverie harp even if you don't have any musical skills or knowledge whatsoever. But like any new skill, it requires a little bit of practice and a little bit of patience. But hang in there and I know you can learn how to do it. There's really only one concept that you need to understand to tune your reverie harp. And that is, tightening a string raises the pitch. Loosening a string lowers the pitch. And lucky for us, the reverie harp works just like the rest of the world. In other words, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. So if you would like to raise the pitch of a string, simply turn the tuning pin to the right or clockwise using your tuning wrench. If you need to lower the pitch of a string, turn the tuning pin to the left or counterclockwise. I'll be using three things to help me tune the Ravry Harp. An electronic tuner that's fully chromatic, the paper tuning template that came with the instrument, and the tuning wrench. Now when you're actually tuning the reverie harp, there are three things happening. The first is that you're plucking the string with your left hand. The second is that you're looking at your electronic tuner to see what note is being heard. And then you're making an adjustment with your right hand using the tuning wrench. Now it's very important that you're tuning and plucking the same string. The most common cause of a string breakage is when somebody's plucking one string but trying to tune another. They don't hear any change in the string and they continue to tighten the string until finally it breaks. So use caution and just make sure you're plucking the same string that you're tuning. Now let's take a look at the readings we're getting on our tuner. As you pluck a string, it'll automatically hear the note and give you a reading. If the needle is to the left of the zero, the string is flat and needs to be raised in pitch, or it needs to be tightened. If the needle is to the right of the zero, then you need to loosen the string to lower the pitch. For the most part, though, you'll be needing to raise the pitch, as the strings stretch with time and tend to go flat. Your instrument is tuned at the factory several times before it's shipped to you, so it really should be giving you the right note right off the bat. You may just need to make some minor adjustments, as you're seeing here, to bring it up to pitch. So pluck the string a few times, take a reading, and make the necessary adjustment on the tuning pin. It's really that easy. So that's all there is to it. Just remember, if you need to raise the pitch of a string, tighten the string or turn the tuning pin to the right. And if you need to lower the string, turn the tuning pin to the left to loosen the string. Oh, and be sure to tune the same string that you're plucking so you don't break any strings. Practice it a few times and I'm sure you'll get the hang of it.